living things grow. How living things can grow? You will see now. All living things show growth. A seed grow into a small plant. The small plants grow into a big plant. A puppy grow into a dog. A chick grow into a cock or a hen. A baby grows into a child and the child grows into a man or a woman. So we see that all living things grow. But non-living things like a toy, stones and tables never grow. They remain the same in the size and shape. Here some pictures are here. See? Here human being. Baby, child and here animals. How they are growing step by step. Here plants also. The see afterwards baby plant, new plant and big plant. Okay, big tree. So here some growth are here even in a bird also. First yet afterward chick, then hen or cock. Okay. So it seems in, for example you also. Before last year you were in first standard. Last year second standard. Now you are in first standard. It seems you also growing day by day. So really all living things can grow. But not living things cannot grow. Yes, the book can grow? No. Pencil can grow? No. So it seems they don't have a life. That's why they are not growing. Living things need food and water. Can you stay without food and water for a day? No. You feel not be able to study or play. We need food to grow. We need food to get energy. Animals also need food. They get their food from plants or other animals. A deer plants for its food. A lion is plant and most like the deer to stay alive. Living things need food and water. Yes, children. Can you stay without food and water for a day? No. Why? cannot live without food and water because food gives us energy to grow. We get energy from the food. Food helps us to grow and remains healthy. We cannot live without food. And even animals also cannot live without food. Then how they can get their food? Animals can make their own food? No. Directly or indirectly they can depend on the plants or other small animals. For example, cow eats a grass. Yes, cow eats a grass. And a deer eats plants for its food. And goat or some animals eat only plants. Some animals eat flesh of other animals. And some animals eat both plants also and animals also. And this detail you can learn in the next lesson. Okay, here a lion eats animals like the deer to stay alive. So some are plant eating animals, some are flesh eating animals and some are eating both herbivorous, carnivorous and omnivorous. Here we are dividing these animals in the herbivorous, carnivorous and omnivorous. Next plants. Plants how may they make the food? Plants can make their own food. Green plants have green pigment called chlorophyll in the leaves. So animals depend on plant or other animals. But plants make their own food. How they make their own food? Let us see now. Green plants have a green pigment called chlorophyll in their leaves. This pigment helps plants to prepare their food with the help of air and water in the presence of sunlight. So non-green plants such as a mushroom and moss cannot make their own food. They get their food from decaying substances. Yes, so plants can make their own food. How they can make their food? They only green color plants can make their own food. Why? Because they have a green color pigment on that. That green color pigment is called as chlorophyll. So with the help of the chlorophyll, they can make their own food, um, air, water in the presence of sunlight. But non-green plants like a mold, a mushroom and ferns, they cannot make their own food. They get their food from the decaying matter in the soil. Next, we are going to the topic living things breathe. Living things breathe. Place your 
your hands on your chest, you feel a tummy rise and fall. This is because your lungs are continuously expanding and contracting. When they expand, you breathe in air. When they contract, you breathe out air. Man cannot live without breathing. We breathe in air containing oxygen. Birds and animals also breathe through their lungs. Insects breathe through the air holes on the surface of their body. Fish takes in oxygen from the water to gills. Yes, all living things can breathe. Without air, the human being or other animals, plants, they cannot live. So just do one activity there. Keep your right hand on your chest and you start breathing. What happens? It expands and contract. When you take air inside, it expands. When you send out the tummy, it contracts. It's continuously it's working. Expand and contract. Expand and contract. So with the help of nose and lungs, human beings can breathe. In the same way, animals also breathe through the nose and lungs. For example, fish. How the fish can breathe? Fish breathe through the gills. Okay, fish breathe through the gills. Here gills, with the help of these gills, fishes can breathe. Okay, with the help of gills, fish breathe in the water and we say oxygen. Fish take in oxygen from the water to breathe with the help of gills. And some insects like the mosquito, cockroach, butterfly, how they can breathe? They have small air holes on their body. With the help of that air holes, those insects also breathe to live. The next we come to the plant. How the plants breathe? Plants breathe through the leaves. Yes, plants breathe through the leaves. Here yes, small tiny pores are there. These tiny pores we call as a stomata. With the help of stomata, plants also breathe. Plants also need air to release. So how they, they don't have a sense organ, but they have small pores on the surface of the leaves. With the help of these tiny pores, plants also breathe. Okay, children, understood? Next, we are going to the topic: living things can feed. When an ant crawls on your hand, you feel. When a mosquito bites, you feel a prick. When a bright light falls on your eyes, you close your eye. This shows that you can feel things. If your dog gets hurt, it groans. So animals also feel. When you touch the leaves of the touch me not plant, they fold up. So plants to have a feeling. So all living things can feel. Yes, Someone, your friend, pinches you, you feel that pain or not? Why? Because you are a living thing, that's why you feel that pain. Only living things can feel the pain. When a bright light falls in your eyes, that also you can feel that light on your eyes and you close your eyes. This is, you can feel that brightness of the sun. This shows that we have, we can feel and even pet animals. Animals also can feel. Yes, then plant. For example, touch me not for How they feel? If you touch that, what happens? It fold up. It seems that their plants also show the feeling. Next is living things we produce. In order to maintain continuity of life, it is essential that all living creatures produce their own kind. Animals such as cats, dogs, cow, and human beings give birth to their animals. Birds, snakes, insects, etc. lay eggs and the animals hatch out from these eggs. Plants reproduce by producing seeds. These seeds germinate and grow into a new plant. Okay, we need to reproduce. Reproduce means what? To the continuity of life, they can be produced. For example, animals give a birth to the animal. Same kind of animal they give a birth. That is called as a reproduce. Okay, re then birds, snakes, these lay the egg. And right? human beings also give the birth to the animal. 
plants also reproduce. How the plants reproduce? Plants reproduce through the seeds or the parts of the body, plant body. For example, leaves or the root or stem. The plants also reproduce in this way. Next, the last topic is living things die. So, all living things live for a time and then die. Okay, all living things can die, but non living things cannot die. Okay. Okay, children, I hope all of you understood this lesson and uh, all of you are clear about this concept. What you have learned in this lesson? First of all, what is the lesson name? Living and non living thing. In that, some things are natural and some things are man made. So, what are the natural things? Clouds, sun, moon, and plants, animals, human beings. These all are natural things. In these natural things, some are natural non living things. So, what are these uh, natural non living things? Sun, star, moon, clouds are the natural non living things. And plants, animals, human beings are the natural living things. And all remaining, uh, all things are man made things. Okay, first this. In this, again living things. What do you mean by living things? And what do you mean by non living things? Things which have life in them are called living things. And things which do not have life in them are called non living things. Again in this, we have learnt features of living things. There are seven features of living things. First, living things grow. Non living things cannot grow. Living things move. Non living things cannot move. Living things feel and non living things cannot feel. Living things need food and water to live. But non living things cannot, they cannot need a food, water to live. Living thing reproduce, non living thing cannot reproduce. Living things die and non living things cannot die. Okay, I hope all of you understood this lesson. Bye, see you soon.